Hello students! Welcome to another discussion and activity. On this video, we'll be talking about history, facilities, equipment, and also the rules of badminton. Today, we will going to discuss new lesson based on the learning competency. Watch until the end of this video for our activity. Hello students! At the end of the lesson, you are able to Number 1. You have to be familiar with the history, rules, and equipment. 2. You have to identify the different equipments together with each part. 3. You have to remember the important dates and names in the world of badminton. What is badminton? Badminton is a tennis-like game played with a light, strong rackets that are used to strike a shuttlecock back and forth before it hits the ground across a high net within a rectangular court. History of Badminton Most authorities feel that game developed from the ancient pastime known as Battle Door and Shuttlecock. The game was learned in India as Puna. It was brought to England about 1870 by British Army officers stationed in India. The Duke of Beaufort introduced the game at his country place, Badminton in Gloucestershire. Not having a name that time, the game was referred to as that Badminton game. Facilities and Equipment The Rocket it is quite light and can be made of wood, aluminum, metal, or synthetic materials such as granite or carbon. It weighs roughly 80 to 100 grams and is 68 centimeter in length. The Shuttlecock It is the official name given to the shuttle or bird. Originally, it is made up of 16 goose feathers and is firmly fixed in a leather-covered cork head. It weighs from 4.74 to 5.50 grams. It may be made of feathers, plastic, or nylon. The Court A badminton court is a rectangle shape and it is divided into two sides for two players. The length of a badminton court is 44 feet long and the breadth of the court is 20 feet long. For singles, the court is marked for 17 feet long or 5.18 meter. A court may be marked out for singles only. The back boundary lines also become the long service lines and the posts or the strips of material representing them are placed on the sidelines. There are two service areas on each side of the net. The right and the left service court bounded by a line running parallel to the net. It is called the short service line. The net and the posts. A badminton net needs to have a depth of 2 feet and 6 inches. When strung from the post on the side of the court, the top edge of each side of the net is 5 feet and 1 inch off the ground. The Rules A player must wait until his opponent is ready before serving. If the opponent attempts a return, then he is ruled having been ready. The fate of both players must remain in a stationary position until the serve is made. Your feet cannot be touching the line at this time. It is not a fault if you miss the shuttle while serving. The shuttle cannot be caught and slung with the racket. A player cannot hold his racket near the net toward off a downward stroke by his opponent or to interfere with his racket. The scoring. A match consists of the best of three games of 21 points. Every time there is a serve, there is a point scored. The side winning a rally adds a point to its score. At 20 all, the side which gains a 2 points lead first, wins that game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. The side winning a game serves first in the next game. The faults. Here are the general rules in playing badminton. First, if the bird falls outside the court. Second, a player is struck by the bird. Third, a player hits the bird twice in succession or a player and partner hit the bird on successive shots. Fourth, the bird is struck before it crosses the net. Fifth, the player touches the net while the bird is in play. Sixth, a player catches the bird instead of letting it drop. Seven, the bird is carried on the racket. And lastly, a player obstructs an opponent. 
the strokes. Forehand and backhand badminton offers a wide variety of basic strokes. All strokes can be played either forehand or backhand. A player's forehand side is the same side he's playing hand. For a right-handed player, the forehand side his right side and the backhand side is his left side. You can play upper arm shots or underarm shots. The choice of strokes depends on how near the shuttlecock is to the net, how high the birdie is, and the current position of the opponent. The service. In badminton, the serve must be hit in an upward direction with an underarm hitting action. You are not allowed to play a tennis style serve. The main rule here is that when you hit the shuttle, it must be below your waist. To be exact, the rules define this to be a height level with the lowest part of your rib cage. In other words, you can serve from a bit higher than the top of your shorts, but not much. There are four types of service. The first one is what we call the short service. Second is what we call the long service. Third, we have the drive service. And the last one is what we call the backhand service. The badminton shots. The first one is what we call clear shots. The aim of these shots is to let the shuttle fly high in the air and land at your opponent's backboard. It is used when you need time to get back to the base before the next return or if you don't have a clear opportunity to kill and win the point. Next is we have drop shots. It is used when the shuttle is heading towards you in the backboard. As an attempt to this throw, the player must hit downward towards the opponent's forecourt aiming for it to go just over the net. The closer the shuttle drops to the net, the harder it is to return. These shots is used when the opponent is in the backcourt, expecting a clear shot or a drive. The next one is drive shots. The drive is a flat shot hit directly and slightly over the net. It is very powerful and quick counter-attacking shot. Your racket should be held with the head facing straight ahead, and it can sometimes be strategic to aim the shot at your opponent, who will be unable to react or shift his body in time as their natural reaction will be to duck or avoid the shot. And the last is what we call these smash shots. It is the most lethal shot in badminton. It can be defined as a drive angle downwards. It can be used when the shuttle is high in the air and can be angled downwards. And that is all about badminton. Thank you for watching!